Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing lesson 3. So last week we learned that God is the creator of all things. Let's take a journey with Adam and Eve to see what happens in the fall of man. Gabby is the only child of her parents. She is a happy child. Her parents told her that her guardian angel is always by her side. So she always speaks to her guardian angel. She loves hearing stories told by her guardian angel. Good morning, my dear guardian angel. I loved the story of Adam and Eve. You told me last week. I wonder where did they live? God placed Adam and Eve in a beautiful garden named Eden. Eden was full of colorful flowers, delicious fruits, berries, bunnies, and butterflies. So, they must have a lot of fun there. Yes, the best of all was God himself came to visit Adam and Eve every day. That is so nice. God told Adam and Eve, from every tree of the Garden of Eden you may eat, but from the tree of knowledge of good and evil planted in the middle of the garden you must not eat. What will happen if they eat? God warned them, the day they eat of the tree of knowledge, they will die. Satan was very cunning. He wanted Adam and Eve to sin against God. Hi, Eve. I wonder if you could eat from all the trees in the garden. Oh, sure, except one tree, tree of knowledge of good and evil. If we eat it, we will surely die. No, no, Eve, you shall not die should you eat of the tree in the middle of the garden. The day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing of good and evil. When Satan misguided Eve, she thought what Satan said was right. She found that fruit is good for food, and ate the forbidden fruit. Adam, see this fruit? It's so delicious. Look how beautiful it is. True. It is really tasty. Do you know what happened to Adam and Eve after they both ate the fruit? They realized that they were naked. Adam, I feel shy. I can't see God looking like this. Me too. I shall sew fig leaves together and make loin clothes for us. In the evening, God came to the garden. But Adam and Eve hid behind the trees. God called him. Adam, where are you? I am naked, so I am hiding behind the trees. God understood. Adam and Eve disobeyed him. Have you eaten of the forbidden fruit of the tree in the middle? The woman you gave me as a partner gave me the fruit from the tree and I ate it. Eve, why have you done this? The serpent deceived me and I ate it. Adam and Eve broke the commandment of God, so God cast them out of the Garden of Eden. Satan is very bad, and he tries to trick us too. He may say to you, You do not have to obey your parents and your teachers. Other kids disobey them, and you can too. And when you get in trouble, Satan says, No, 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 just tell a lie. They won't know. Well, Eve was deceived by Satan. She should not have believed Satan's lie, but she did. When we break the commandments of God, we go away from him and thereby lose his grace. Dear Gabby, do you know how to obey God? By obeying our parents. Not doing any mistakes.
doing right things. God gave Adam and Eve all the freedom, but they misused. We can choose whether to do good or evil. When we do good, we become God's children. When we do not do good, Satan will mislead us. Let us answer these questions together. When we break the commandments of our God, we are going away from who? We are going away from Him, God. And when we lose God's what, what are we losing? We are losing His grace. We should always remember to obey Lord our God and always your parents and to live accordingly. Let us pray. More on Isha Michelle, do not shut the door of your mercy on our faces. Lord, we confess that we are sinners. Have mercy on us. Your love made you descend from your place to us. Lord, by your death, our death has been destroyed. Have mercy on us. Amen. Now let us sing the song together. Genesis 3.19 What did Lord God command? Adam and Eve. He told them not to eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil that was in the center of the Garden of Eden. He instructed them not to eat that. What was the result of man's disobedient to God's commandments? They were thrown out the Garden of Eden. So we should always remember let us obey God. That way, we won't be punished as Adam and Eve was punished. We never wanted to lose God's grace, and we want to be close to Him. Time for the activity. Make a chart with six columns on each day. When you do good things, obey your parents, enter a check, Mark with a colored marker. You can use different colors for different days. Whenever you disobey, enter the check mark with black markers. Remember, God always loves you. Let's see you next week. Until then, practice the songs and remember the Bible verse.